Right guys, so after nearly a year of use, it's time to ditch the TP5B as my fencing bag. Now, you know, those of you who watch my channel know I'm a, a huge fan of Vito Pro Pack, but this bag, this pouch, is just uh, no use for the application that I was using it. As I probably demonstrated at the start of the video. The problem with these, for me anyway, um, using them on unstable ground at least, the profile of the base, yeah, I'm just looking there, profile of the base is quite narrow so you know when you do lay it down on an une uneven surface the bag tends to either tip backwards or forwards and sometimes you know spill all the tools out um, I just got really fed up of this um, you know when I was fencing a lot of the times I, I do hang the bag up when I'm fencing but there are occasions where there's nothing to hang your bag on you just need to lay it on the grass or you know the chuckies or whatever you're working on and it just more often than not it just tips over and it's just annoying you know um you know tools spilling out in the the mud or not just spilling out in general it's just a pain so it got me thinking um i'll get this out of the way this is the tech otmc which is my old plumbing bag <clears throat> now for plumbing I, I love this bag but it was just a little bit too small um, and i've just noticed that uh, you know, in the spring of this year, Vito are bringing out the, the Tech OT LC, which is a slightly bigger bag than this. So it's an open tote again, but it's the, the LC model, so it'll be slightly bigger, which will be absolutely ideal for plumbing for me. So I just pretty much emptied all my plumbing tools out of this bag, stuck in my fencing tools out of the TP5B. Yeah, so I've been using this bag for a couple of months now on site, uh, you know, on fencing jobs, and it's just just an absolute dream to use, you know, compared to the, the TP5B. So it's got more capacity, it's got the square base as I showed you. You know, it just does not fall over. The only one downside I would say, I don't know if it's something Vito can look at in the future, is your, you know, if it's raining, more often than not it is, uh, you know, where I live. You could do with some sort of waterproof cover that you could just flip over the bag. Similar to the TPXL, you know, it's got a sort of flap that you could put over the top. I mean, it's not, it's not a huge deal, but it would just save the tools getting wet. I mean, I do use a DS400, a DeWalt DS400 box, which I'll clip to now. And you can see that beside the OTMC there. And the only thing with the DS400, it's it's quite a large box. It's quite unwieldy, you know, to drag about on site. Um, so I prefer to have a wee carry bag like this. Um, but as I say, it could do with a cover over the top. But at the moment, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to place an order for the Tech OT LC for my plumbing bag. Um, and I'll, I'll hopefully do a load out of that uh, once I get it. Um, I'm not going to do a load out of this bag. It's pretty much the tools from a TP5 be transferred into here. Uh, one thing I will say, you know, I've got a lot of Vito bags. Um, when I first got my Vito bags, I used to really overload them. You know, it's just it's easy to do because there's so many pockets. But I've since learned that the Vito bags are actually more practical if you don't overload them. You know, just just have the absolute essential tools that you need within the bag, and they're just so so much easier to access. Uh, so anyway, I won't I won't start waffling on, um, but I guess the point of the video, guys, is to to show you how you know when you buy something, whether it be a tool bag or a certain tool or something, if it's not suiting your purposes or not suiting your needs, you know, always change, try and experiment, you know, to see what works best for you. Probably take years to get the perfect setup, but uh, this is a step forward for me on the fencing side, anyway. Um, and hopefully, the the Tech LC, OTLC, will be a you know a good help with the plumbing side. Yeah, so really happy with the way this bag performs. I obviously, don't have a bag for my plumbing stuff at the moment, but to be honest, I'm booked up for the next two months with fencing work, so I'm not, I'm not too bothered. And um, the tools can just stay within my workshop. Um, but. Anyway guys, hopefully this was of some interest, maybe pointed out a flaw of the TP5B. Um, I will say, hold on, um, I will say this is still an excellent pouch, but I think it's more suited to electrical or maybe a small plumbing pouch. Um, I've got another one that I use for just a sort of grab bag for uh, property maintenance, which is good, you know, if you're just sitting on a solid surface like, you know, a wooden floor or worktop or, or something like that, it's an excellent bag. But I do find the balance a little bit off. You know, they do they do seem to be a little bit, I don't know if it's top heavy or front heavy or something. 
Um, as you can see from the side view there, there's the back. All the weight is, you know, pretty much to the, to the front of the bag. So I think that's what's causing a lot of the issues. Anyway, enough of that. We'll find another use for this. And I'll be delighted to use this going forward. Right, guys, as always, anybody new here, um, I do have a lot of Vito to our videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, by clicking there or at the end of the video in the centre. Please give the video a thumbs up if it was any of any use to you at all. Um, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Cheers.